Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make an advanced player bar for frag movies and such. Uh, it's gonna look something like this, kind of futuristic uh, sci-fi thingy. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, file new. Um, you make a, a canvas with the, the settings you like. Uh, let me see, like this, and import, uh, uh, this is optional, you can import a picture of uh, your game, just to see how large you, you want it, and we we'll start off by making the bottom part here, and the lower part, I believe it's called. Uh, check this box, it says paths, and just start making the path. Oh, shitty. Let me see. Like this. And hold Alt and click the cursor to remove the hand. Yeah, whatever. And make the curves here. So, something like this. And right click it, make selection, no feather radius, and fill it with color, uh, just choose the uh, selection tool, right click, fill, uh, any color you like, whatever, it doesn't matter. Then, I'm just going to name this part 1, and let me see, yeah, uh, the other part, new layer, I'm going to choose the rounded rectangle tool and make sure this is checked now and just make a rectangle like this or so right click rasterize layer and move it under the other one well, I'm just gonna rename it part 2 so yeah maybe no 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 it's fine okay we're going to start off by adding a gradient to part 1. It's going to be a grey and white gradient. Just click this one, preset, and choose uh, whatever colors you like. I'm going to choose a light grey here, and maybe a dark grey here, and a light one here. Maybe. Let me see. Oh, this one is gonna be almost white. Oh, white. Yeah, whatever. Just mess around with the settings. Yeah, something like that. Then we're done here for now. Move on to part 2, blending options, uh, inner shadow, uh, set the color to white, and the blend mode to overlay, and the angle to about 65, and just mess around with the settings, just find something you like. Yeah, something like that. Opacity to 100, and that's it, I believe. You may want to add an uh, outer glow if you want. Like this. Don't overdo it. Maybe just like this. Maybe a dark one. Yeah, whatever. And. I think we're done for this one. 
uh, yeah you may want to add a, an afterglow to the other one as well something like this and make a new layer and select uh, the brush tool and a brush of your choice uh, hold control and click part 2 and so now it's selected and you're only gonna apply the brush to this part of uh, this selection so you just uh, make the color white or whatever and just add some things here set it to overlay or maybe some more I don't know set it to overlay like this uh, I'm just gonna delete this part here let me see One part, this one. Like this, very nice. So, yeah, like that. It's pretty good now, but you may want to add something else. Uh, maybe a text maybe let me see Gnostic Productions white like this and soft light I believe oh no I don't want to do that and you can do the same thing here just rasterize it first and control click it and select the color you have in the background here and just go over with a brush so it's kind of blended blended in go to blending options and maybe an outer glow will be nice again lot of glow in this tutorial and maybe a drop shadow but not so strong maybe a subtle one uh, wait a minute just gonna shrink it down a bit yeah something like that and maybe you want to add the logo here or something. I'm gonna open mine. Let me see. This one or this one, maybe? Yeah, I'll grab this one. So, yeah. Just gonna do this real quick. new layer, add it, shrink it down yeah and it's done so that was my tutorial for today and I see you on the next tutorial goodbye